My child's name is Memphis and he just turned one two days ago. Memphis is diagnosed with Golden Haar Syndrome. My son's name is Jules Oje and he's two years old. Jules doesn't have a diagnosis yet. His only diagnosis so far is hypotonia. So the Grow With Me group is intended for um, infants and young children. Um, we have um, young babies in the group, so some children who are just sort of starting off their life, um, up, all the way up to children who are about three or four years old. And it's typically children who have um, multiple needs, so the need of multiple therapies. So to be able to describe to somebody who's never heard of Golden Haar Syndrome, it's basically, I would just say like, he has a genetic abnormality that simply um, affects the facial features and the, some of the major organs. I would describe Jill's diagnosis hypotonic as low muscle tone, like floppy baby syndrome. So his muscles don't contract like another child would. So he has a hard time sitting, standing, supporting himself, swallowing. As Memphis's parent, we had to face a lot of struggling and not so struggling things. Like he's had, in his first year, he's had a lot of surgeries. He's had a lot of pokes and picks and we have had to go through a lot of, hot. We, we go through a lot of hospitalizations and a lot of trips back and forth to sick kids and trips to Thrive every week. and. Um, it's quite a lot, but um, we do it. And because of Thrive being here, when we're here, we've been able to thrive. The thing I love the most about Memphis is, even though he's gone through so much already in his first year, he's always happy and he's always ready in the morning to just go about his day. And like he's, because he's been through so much, I love that he's always just, he forgets about it almost. We have a lot of appointments, a lot of doctor's appointments, physio appointments, occupational therapy appointments, speech therapy appointments. So there's a lot that I didn't even know myself that was going to go on until it actually happened to us. So the Girl With Me Therapy Group was started here at Thrive as a way to um, allow our families to interact with each other and also to interact with the therapists um, in order to achieve their therapy goals um, in a group setting. Um, so it's a group that we run here um, with young children and their families and we work on their therapy goals in a group setting. The Grow With Me group is facilitated by the therapists here at Thrive. So we have a speech language pathologist, a physiotherapist, and an occupational therapist. We also have the involvement of our therapy assistants. Um, so we run the group together. The Grow With Me group um, typically meets here at Thrive. We have a large um, therapy room that we meet in to allow the children lots of room to explore um, and to interact. We also tend to run um, one group sort of out of every session out in the community at one of the early Ontario Best Start Hubs. We like to start each session off um, with a welcome song and some other songs just to sort of break the ice and get people um, interacting and uh, singing itself has a lot of benefits in terms of that early sort of social interaction and social engagement um, as well as for communication. We've done a session on tummy time, um, we sometimes will do a session based on feeding, um, we may have a session on early play, literacy, different topics, so we usually spend some time um, talking about each topic each week. We usually have lots of toys available so that we can um, play with the kids and work on their goals. And usually we also like to allow some time for the parents to ask questions. So ask questions from each other and ask questions of the therapists in each session. That's an important part of the session as well. Grow With Me has allowed me to kind of look on the positive side of things and knowing that if I'm ever struggling that I'm able to quickly connect with somebody or sit down and ask a question that other people have might have already gone through or even bring up points that parents might not have went through yet and kind of help others as well. It means a lot um, to me as a parent to have a group like this because 
We are so used to being at Sick Kids in Toronto and then coming back to such a small town compared to that. There's not a lot here for children who have differences and to be able to have a group who, of kids who are the same or similar um, is a huge help because you always have at least somebody to go and communicate with and relate with um, and it's nice to have that kind of support. It's nice having access to something like this because we moved here in 2017 and just don't really know anybody or anybody with children with similar needs as Jules, so it's been really great to get to know other families and people and have the support. I don't know what's out there and I don't know what we need because we don't have a diagnosis, so it's been like really, Thrive is one of the only places that we do come because we pretty much have everything here so far that we do need. The thing about all the waiting lists is that it is very frustrating because sometimes you feel like you get lost in the cracks and you kind of feel like you're going in one direction and then it just gets put on hold and then you wait and wait and waiting times to get into appointments are like up to six months to a year to even see anybody. And I find it very frustrating because he's so young and not having a diagnosis and getting put on wait lists for things, I feel like sometimes maybe it's not good for his development because we're losing time. So in terms of progress, um, we really hope that the group will help children um, work towards some of their really early, early skills, so early communication skills, early physical skills, um, early play skills. Um, we often see an increase in the interaction in the children from the start of the group to the end of the group, so the children learn um, to interact with each other and to play. Some progress I've seen is he's, he went from not being able to sit up, not being able to um, do very much on his own, and just by going to the group and seeing other kids and seeing how things work. Um, he is now sitting up on his own, he stands up on his own, he does a lot of things on his own from just being around other children who are trying to do it and seeing how it works. Some of our goals for Jules attending here is to make new friends, interact and just learn some new ways to cope with his condition for home. Since Jules started attending Grow With Me, he's been a lot more social when he's playing with other kids. And he's just getting like stronger and happier and just likes being in the group. My biggest hope for Memphis's future is that he grows up knowing that he can do things the same as everybody else and he grows up knowing that he is a rock star and I hope he knows that all of these people growing up were there to support him like Thrive and every other hospital and doctor and friend and family because we are working our butts off trying to get him to continue to succeed and thrive the way he is. So this group, um, I love running it. I love seeing the interactions with the families, seeing the children interact with each other, um, seeing those relationships built between the parents, um, hearing them ask each other questions. A lot of times you hear um, parents thinking that they're maybe the only ones who have to deal with these types of situations and learning that there's other parents out there who are experiencing the same things that they are. So it's great to see that rapport building. Um, I also find it um, a great way to target my therapy goals in the group setting because like I said you get that, that social interaction. Um, so it's been a great opportunity to, to see some of these young children and to see them to see them grow and to enhance their skills in a group setting.